I mean, I honestly don't know what I did in a past life to be stuck doing this. Maybe I threw one too many people into a body of water, but here we are. So, as you guys can imagine, I'm still losing my mind, but before we start complaining, let's try to be positive today with some very lovely reviews from my customers. This is for the fatty beef package. Fatty beef is what I ordered. Fatty beef is what I got. This is my first time ordering from Frank's website or any website that ships meat for that matter. I didn't know what to expect, but I have to say the quality of the meat compared to my local grocery store is night and day. The color of each cut of steak was a deep red. Everything came nicely wrapped and was cold to touch out of the box. Overall, it was a 10 out of 10 experience for me and you now have one more loyal and happy customer. I'm looking forward to placing my next order because I know the quality will be outstanding. Uh, this next review is for the collagen bone broth, another amazing product. Yet another amazing, extremely high quality and dirt cheap product compared to the rest. Frankie is too good to us. If only I could get my produce from someone with your high standards, lol. The third review is for the Wagyu Tomahawk Ribeye. Holy crap dude, easily the best cut of meat I've ever eaten. No joke, exceedingly rich and buttery. The four pounder fed three tall hungry people with sides and had leftovers. No regrets here. And for way less money than any other source I saw. Yeah, that ribeye would probably cost you like four or five six hundred in a restaurant and i as well have not seen anything near that price online last review is for our female fertility product on organ supplements only two weeks in and feeling better i have suffered from estrogen dominance for the past two years and in the last two weeks of taking the female fertility i have lost weight and i'm feeling calmer and happier I will put another review up after a couple months, but I am a believer every woman should try this supplement. So thank you guys. I'm glad most of you enjoy my product so much. Uh, the thing to say about the animal glandulars on organ supplements is, yes, most people do have some sort of metabolic problem where taking the glandular will benefit them. But you know, if you've been eating organs for years and years and years and you're perfectly healthy, that's where you, know, you don't have to really take it as often. Uh, Business-wise, I mean... Guys, j just to put it simply, you know, when, when I'm charging over, you know, $100,000 a month on my credit card and my payroll is almost $4,000 a week and I'm not making money, like to, to put numbers into perspective, you start, you start going a little crazy and losing your mind. I think UPS has been jerking me around uh, the past few months where I haven't been paying 100% attention to how much they're charging me for shipping costs to California. My bill the other week was $12,000 for shipping. And I mean, I haven't paid rent like... Uh, what else is an issue? Uh, the, the cost of everything is going up. So you guys know like meat costs have gone up, but if meat costs go up 20% and shipping costs go up 30% and the price of the styrofoam coolers goes up uh, 20%, that's, you know, th then you can't run a business. And I, I've tried increasing prices to a point where I don't lose customers, but uh, I don't think I can do so anymore. And the, the real summary of that is the problems don't go away, you know? Like you would think I would have a reliable foam cooler supplier now. You would think I wouldn't be looking to switch into FedEx a few years into the business. But since the problems don't go away and I'm, I'm constantly fighting, it's, you know, at one point, do, do I just throw in the towel? But uh, one thing that does keep me going is the new products that we offer you guys every week. I get to splurge with my creativity a little bit. Uh, we have a couple of bins here of the meat for the meat granola. So the meat granola will hopefully be back next week guys uh, we're gonna have uh, coconut flakes in there with blueberries macadamia nuts it's gonna be very 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 delicious uh, we are out of the apple macadamia bars so if you guys have been waiting for an order from frankie's free range foods i think there's only a few of them hopefully we can get everything out this week and uh, the apple bars will have a new formula as well it's going to be a similar texture to the other best bars and oh we do have a new product in this week it's our new flavored jerky so we use coconut aminos, honey, salt, a few different spices and seasonings, but uh, this flavored jerky, it's very mild, you know, despite having the meat marinade for a few days. Maybe I'll put some vinegar in there next time, but th there's definitely a noticeable taste difference. It's just not like this crazy, crazy punch. And so that basically means that, you know, you don't have to worry about it being too heavily seasoned if, if you're sensitive to certain spices. But let's uh, jump in the freezer and let me show you guys the main products that are back today something that you guys have been waiting a while for we got plenty of boxes of the organ grind back in stock guys the you know 10 percent liver five percent heart five percent kidney you guys have been asking for quite a few months now i think we've been out for two or three months but it is back in stock you guys have been buying it 
Oh, I did want to mention, I accidentally bought the wrong paper for some of this meat, guys. So if you buy the ground pork or like ground steaks, please just send me an email and I give you guys a discount on the order for the inconvenience. But uh, we should have the correct paper in this week for all the future wrapping. In addition to the organ grind being back in stock, we have beef belly back in stock. We were out for only about two weeks. So we have that. But what I also did for you guys was we sliced the pork belly into bacon, basically. So I'm calling this the raw Iberico bacon. You know, we were selling the whole five pound slabs of belly only pork, which is pretty inconvenient. So I think you guys are gonna like these one pound uh, containers of raw bacon. You know, bacon is normally cured and smoked. So this is really just raw pork belly, but I called it raw Iberico bacon. Come in one pound packages, you know, throw a few slices of these in the pan. This is the highest quality quote, bacon, unquote, available online at a pretty good price. We have a lot of lamb hearts back in stock. I know some of you guys are buying up those. I don't see any of the Wagyu tomahawk ribeye, so I'm assuming you guys bought them all. And uh, all we have left is, is the regular Wagyu strip, Wagyu ribeye. We have the Wagyu steak ends, which are very affordable, guys. We're selling like one pound Wagyu steaks for like $21, which is cheaper than regular ribeyes online. So next week, we should be showing you guys the meat granola as well as the new apple bar how it looks what the texture is like uh <laughs> but let, let me let me show you guys why i'm losing my mind so much down here i mean yeah i mean i, I should have gone crazy already but you know I'm, I'm trying to focus on what the business can make so even if i i've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars to scumbag lawsuits and and rotten business partners hopefully at some point in the future i'm making so much money all that stuff doesn't matter so the floor in this refrigerator that was previously wood got really warped and the guy sawed it out and put this aluminum down. But look at how shoddy of a job this guy did. He charged me $1,000 to saw out the, the floor and put aluminum down. I thought he was going to do a nice job. I knew 1000 was a little high. But I've been texting the guy for the past month to come back. Like, for $1,000, like, HVAC guys, please let me know what you would charge for this and how horrible of a job this is. You know, I mean, the guy fixed some other stuff and he charged a little too much, but it's hard to get reliable contractors that don't screw you over in the city. I mean, honestly, for $1,000, I could have bought two really nice Milwaukee saws, the aluminum, the screws, and probably done it myself in a few hours for that fucking job. Like, all the guy did was saw out the wood, screw the aluminum down. He didn't put, like, anything nice. He didn't measure it nice. He didn't insulate the side so it doesn't leak. So hopefully this comes back. What I also paid for, and they did a much nicer job, they labeled all of the circuits and electrician about $1,500 to do the whole place. I color-coded this so my guys know what to turn off when they leave. I got to show them this week to do that. And all the lights are fixed. So none of these lights were working previously, and a couple lights downstairs weren't working. Maybe $1,400 for that electrical job to fix all the lights and label the whole building. Maybe that was a little bit high, but... Uh, I had no problem paying that because the guy really did me a favor fixing the, the dehydrator a couple months back for only $500. So I had no problem with that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of money going in and out of the business. And, you know, when I look at the sales, I'm not just Frankie Strange Meat. You know, Frankie Strange Foods, Horgan Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. If I'm selling $1,000 worth of water key for a week, let alone all the other products, and I'm not making money, I, yeah. I'm getting really worried and concerned at how much I'm getting jerked around by just, you know, the cooler companies have to pay for a full truckload of shipping, UPS charging me overweight fees and all this nonsense bullshit and ignoring my phone calls and emails. I don't have anything to show you guys down here this week on organ supplements, but we did restock the male virility and we do have a few trace minerals back. So if you guys have been looking to buy the male virility, the beef testy supplement, we have it. Wi-Fi shielding, nothing new guys, but remember last week. A couple of you guys have already purchased the uh, knapsacks for children and toddlers. So this is kind of nice for your kids to sleep in or to kind of wheel them around in a carriage. We have two different sizes, uh, kind of small, medium, and large, extra large. If you guys missed it a month or two ago, uh, we have the new lip balm formula made with coconut oil, which is, I think the texture is a lot nicer and easier to apply and uh, a little more approachable than the beef towel. For the water kefir, we do have some apple lemon in stock and we have pineapple. Hopefully the whey protein finally comes in this week. And I got to find out where my lead powder is too. That's going to be fun. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs and outside and get fried by more Wi-Fi EMF. You know, I forgot one review. Maybe I'll read it next week. It was basically the person saying uh, that they couldn't afford my Wi-Fi shielding stuff. So they like bought some fabric and went to their own tailor, which 
I mean, to me, that seems more expensive, but uh, they basically said they felt a lot better once they stopped uh, getting fried by all the Wi-Fi EMF in their environment. So I'll try, to, I'll try to find that review and read it next week for you guys. So last year, I put an ad in the Amish newspaper for eggs and dairy, and I got a lot of phone calls back then, but uh, someone called me like a week and a half ago, you know, from the older ad, and uh, I'm writing them a letter this week, so I don't think it's going to pan out because I've already spoken to like 10 of these Amish people, and it never ends up working out, but... Uh, th there's a possibility that these people might be willing to do eggs and dairy. Um, I, I'm sending them the letter with the price and the volume and what we want, but it, it's pretty crazy opportunity to me because you know the, the volume of milk and eggs that we can sell. You know, a few hundred gallons of milk a week, a few hundred dozen eggs, a few like 50, 100 pounds of raw butter. Just off the bat, I think for, for my customer base, um, that that would be uh, that would be. Uh, to me an opportunity for them it's just with shipping costs and logistical stuff adding dairy to the I'm not going to actually make that much money off of it but it might bring in a lot of customers we'll see again I don't think it's going to happen because it hasn't happened the past 10 times I mentioned it but uh, hopefully uh, I, I can stick this out a few more months but um, I wanted to actually do a whole video uh, just talking about the business update because you know it doesn't look like we're going to get those loans I was hoping for about which was supposed to happen now in spring, the, the Build Back Better grants, the 666 New World Order scam grants. So that doesn't look like it's going to happen, and I don't really know what I can hold out for because uh, with all the lawsuits against me, I don't think I can get a bank loan, and my business isn't making money. So like, I'm kind of just down here paying a shitload of money to my employees and making a whole bunch of other businesses a whole lot of money. So I don't know. But thank you guys for supporting me regardless. Hopefully we can continue to provide you guys with some pretty high quality products. Uh, we should have some more New York beef next month. Uh, the carcasses are hanging right now. Uh, one of them is actually a bull. I know some of you guys wanted to buy like bull meat, like male cow meat or something. So we'll have that available separated from the other cow. But uh, you guys can go to frank com to check out all my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow.